Hello, this is Leonie Chief Fraser back to educate and to motivate. Well, we just survived that Macon County election, 2008 primary election. And 400 and a few people elected Robert Mike Berry back to your Macon County Commission. Now, you are stuck with Robert Berry for the next four years. It is going to be very interesting to see how we are Macon County deal with this situation. You know, it escapes me how a community with as much education as we have per square mile in this area could in 2008 put Robert Mike Berry back into office. How do you think our children feel about this? Don't you all understand those people out of Nota Sarger? And out of the part of this county that, you know, goes toward notice over, don't you guys understand that our children are watching what we do? And they are watching how we do what we do? And don't you know that our children see some of the top leaders in this community embracing Robert Mike Berry? all the way back from the penitentiary, right back into office in Macon County? Don't you know that our children know that there's something wrong with that? When most of us are trying to teach them to do the right thing, stay out of trouble, get educated, get a good job, go straight, and you won't have anything to worry about. But if you mess up, if you drop out of school, if you go to jail and get convicted of crimes, that you will ruin your life? Don't you know that we are confusing our children when we teach them that or those things, and yet they see the leaders of this community embracing wrongdoing, criminality, thievery, untrustworthiness. Macon County, there's something wrong with that. There's just something wrong with that. There's something wrong with the leaders who would perpetrate it. There's something wrong with the candidate who would come back into this community and expect it. And I know he probably did some heavy favors for the leaders of this county. I bet you when he went to interviews with the FBI and when he went to court and we had to deal with those federal prosecutors, I know that he had to deal some serious decision kinds of making in order not to give a lot of people up in this county, which I guess the leaders in this county must feel obligated to or something. At least that's the way it appears to me. Now, I know all of that exists. But I know that all of that has existed all along. And as much praying, and as much hoping that we have done to try and bring this community back to a level of decency, integrity, trustworthiness. You know, I was just hoping and praying that we would be above what happened in this county on the 3rd of June. But I guess I just got to wait and hope and pray some more. 
for things to change because it appears to me the more it appears that things may change in Macon County, Alabama, the more they are remaining the same. And I watch the people who perpetrate this devastation strut around here as if they own the world and flex their muscles as if though they are all of that plus a bowl of collard greens and a piece of cornbread and you may even add some Kool-Aid to it. And I watch the people of this community accept them as being all of that plus some. People, there's something sadly wrong with that. But that's what the people of the 4th District wanted. And that's what the rest of us are stuck with. 